Hello and welcome back to Coin Matters channel. An important development has occurred in the last few hours that affects CSD, Binance, and the entire cryptocurrency market. The price of Bitcoin has dropped significantly. I will be discussing this topic as well as the future of the cryptocurrency business. So, what information is critical for you to have right now and what information is essential for the future? Is this something we've seen before on the channel and hence not related to Game of Thrones? That's something we'll be discussing. Just what you need to know to keep an eye on the cryptocurrency market. Please give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Not intended as investment guidance. So, without further ado, let's watch the video. In the United States, CSD and the Binance Crypto Exchange are the subject of recent headlines. The SEC is now going after them. This should come as no surprise. So, the channel has already aired our forecast for this. In the cryptocurrency market, this is a constant refrain. Binance and its CEO, Chomping CSD Zhao, have been sued by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, for violations of U.S. securities laws. Let's get down to brass tacks about the SEC situation, and I'll explain all perspectives. The SEC has filed a lawsuit against Binance, a cryptocurrency exchange founded by billionaire Zhao Chomping, saying that the company and its founder commingled investor funds with the company's own, so violating securities laws. After the CFTC released a similar complaint against Binance earlier this year, the exchange is now facing 13 counts. On Twitter, Zhao has burst this off as fake news. The SEC has basically charged Binance Holdings, its US-based affiliate BAM trading services, and the company's CEO, as can be seen on their Twitter page. Plus, they issued a major press statement. All fees are clearly outlined in this document. As with other cryptocurrency exchanges, they are now applying the full force of the law against Binance. In addition to unlicensed national security exchange, broker dealers, and clearing organizations, the lawsuit also mentions these practices. In essence, it is a laundry list of accusations, grievances, etc. that have been lodged against Binance. We have a wide selection of them. As a result, the clearing and exchange broker firm is unlicensed. The SEC claims that a sale of cryptocurrency took place without first filing the necessary paperwork. Therefore, the SEC filed charges against Binance for making unregistered offers and sales of Binance Simple Earn and BNB Vault cryptocurrency loan products. Furthermore, it has been speculated that the SEC is currently targeting a large number of other cryptocurrencies. So, in addition, we support Solana, Polygon Cardano, Filecoin, Cosmos Decentraland, Algorand Sandbox, and Cody Axis. This case includes claims that the tokens are securities. They further claim that the exchange's inability to prevent U.S. investors from using Binance.com is misleading. In other words, right now we're just kind of throwing a lot of stuff at Binance Crypto Exchange. Moreover, if we look at Binance's official replies, we discover that they express disappointment that the US SEC has chosen to bring a lawsuit against Binance today, requesting, among other remedies, putative emergency relief. We have helped the SEC from the outset of their investigation by responding to their inquiries and addressing their concerns. Recently, we've been talking with them for a long time in good faith to try to settle their inquiries through negotiation. But the SEC, despite our best efforts, has decided to act unilaterally and sue, as seen by its complaint filed today. This decision has left us feeling down. So you guys know, again, this is just my opinion in the crypto field. And once more, you may place your faith in whatever you like regarding the cryptocurrency industry. However, Binance has been the victim of systematic attacks in the past, and as you can see, this news has had an effect on the BNB currency. Nonetheless, history shows that Binance, the cryptocurrency exchange, is among the very finest that emerged during the market boom of 2017. The Bitcoin price history can be retraced all the way back to 2017 by loading this page. For many people in 2017, Binance was the crypto exchange of choice. 
At that point, it gained widespread use and established itself as a reliable cryptocurrency trading platform. Many investors sought out cryptocurrencies because they seemed secure, safe, and offered low trading fees. I just wanted to let you know that there are crypto exchanges available. If you're not careful, you could end up paying a lot of money in fees to crypto exchanges alone. There are quite a few of these floating around, though you should exercise caution regarding a few of them. In my opinion, the United States is not very friendly to cryptocurrency in general, so they don't even like Bitcoin and they don't like the other cryptos. However, Binance took off, gained a large user base, and became the top cryptocurrency exchange in terms of volume users internationally and globally. This is quite Game of Thrones-like behavior on the part of the United States administration, in my opinion. So, yes, we now have an extremely high. The U.S. government and SEC are hostile, and they may simply be venting their anger. So, basically, they're employing a strategy of frustration to impede growth in the United States right now by suing virtually every company in the country. In the end, I wouldn't be shocked if there are certain groups in the United States that are connected to the old ways of handling money, such investment banks and the like. So, I guess that's what's going on in the U.S. right now. They don't want crypto, and by extension decentralized finance and freedom, to catch on. In addition, there are many ways in which cryptocurrencies excel over their more conventional banking counterparts. So, once again, I see no reason for surprise. The cryptocurrency market has experienced a slight sell down, as can be seen. Here, you can see that Bitcoin shifted from the $2,620 to $7,000 range. There was a sharp decline. It dropped to a low of $25,500. But I also have some wonderful news to share with you. Keep in mind that, you know, even in the United States, things might change. Things may change in the United States, despite the fact that the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and the system there are now unfriendly. Some have even gone as far as to call Gary Gensler a national disgrace. It's time to put the brakes on him, and there's room for improvement. Guard you can get rid of some of these people through the ballot box if you live in a democracy. I mentioned Elon Musk to you all yesterday. You shared Twitter with Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and I have no doubt that by 2024, the United States will have a president or other elected official who can turn things around. Right now, it is exactly what I am thinking. Things may alter, however. And the United States is currently experiencing a brief period of cold weather. We now know who is in charge of the SEC and is actively working to shut down the cryptocurrency industry. Crypto, however, is here to stay in my opinion. And if we take a look at what's been happening with Binance this season, we'll see that they've been responding on Twitter, too. This means that he has been doing a lot of reposting recently. On the same day that the SEC files its lawsuit against Binance, you may view this tweet from Thor Maximalist. ThorChain now allows users to book BNB in a decentralized, permissionless, and censorship-resistant manner thanks to the incorporation of BNB fairness in poetry. Government regulators have no control on cryptography. This is apparently what TKB is saying on Twitter, and Shezid is currently tweeting up a storm in response. This is why I am retweeting it. Sand, Cardano, Matic, Solana, and many others were all given the green light by the Hong Kong authorities to be traded as of June 1st. So, one thing, as you can see the SEC sues Binance on June 5th for practically all these cryptocurrencies, as you can see. Therefore, the situation may evolve. What about the future of the American financial system? Will the United States always be the global financial leader? Guys, I really don't know if this will work. Therefore, I believe a change is possible. Retail investors in the United States stand to suffer the most from the trends I've been describing, the growth of the BRICS, China, Hong Kong, and other countries that could emerge as global leaders. So, you guys who are presumably watching the channel, what are your plans for the cryptocurrency market? You only want to improve your situation, right? 
you're only looking to invest in promising cryptocurrencies for the long haul in the hopes of making a profit that will allow you to provide for your loved ones, treat yourself to some new kicks, and maybe even treat yourself to a Lamborghini. But many Americans claim to be striving for exactly that. I'm sure there are plenty of kind individuals living in the United States, but it sometimes feels like the country is ruled by an icy Iron Throne style regime. But crypto will win out in the end, I believe. In the United States, I expect crypto to win out, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed for a change of government. Exactly that is my desire. However, the cryptocurrency market is experiencing some uncertainty at the moment. Since I intend to maintain an optimistic outlook, I may take this as a short-term opportunity to dollar-cost average into some fantastic cryptocurrency businesses. I intend to maintain an upbeat outlook. I intend to search for rare cryptocurrencies and to acquire more of them. And if we look at the crypto values around the time this was recorded, we can observe a significant decline, down 5.1%. Bitcoin and most other cryptocurrencies will fall in value today. With a 9.2% decline, BNB has been impacted harder than the competition, while SHIB has had a 7.2% decline. After a fantastic gain yesterday, Terra Classic has dropped 17% today. Where is Pepe, exactly? So, 17% decrease for Pepe as well. As a result, the crypto market is experiencing widespread price cuts. But, fellas, I'm still long-term bullish. Let's not give the cold regime in the US a victory while I keep an eye out for any crypto gems. Sup, gang. So, I'm keeping a positive attitude about crypto until we know who is courting whom and who will be elected president of the United States in 2024. For crypto, what plans do they have? You really do need to be aware of that information if you want to see a change in these costs. However, food prices are falling and good things are on the horizon. In my perspective, price increases are inevitable. However, this is not investment guidance. However, fellas, I trust the update was to your liking. Have a nice day if you smash the thumbs up button. See you later. Bye.